Looking back at his amazing achievement of climbing the mountain while he was sick with esophageal cancer, that motivated us hugely to kind of set out on this journey with each other while raising awareness and funds for the cancer that took him at such a young age and took him away from his young family. Nine months before his death in 2004, Conor O'Duffy climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. 21 years on, his daughters are preparing to retrace his steps in his honour. I feel like my memories of dad, I don't remember how sick he was. Yeah. He was just so fun and so full of life. When he came back, he was so ill and we were back and forth to the hospice. But the stories from the trip consumed our yeah. visits really and I think maybe they must have just lived on through us. I think being so young when he passed away, my memories aren't very, very strong of, let's say, family holidays or trips. My memories come through photos, but this way I think it's really special retracing some of his last footsteps on Earth, beginning Father's Day, and to be like in the same place that he was, it's almost like maybe we're on the trip together. This is the photo of him at the summit, at the summit with the glaciers in the back, and we are going to take this with us on our person and mm -hmm. hold this up and hopefully capture a great photo of us with it too. Yeah. So the three of you will be at the top of the mountain. Exactly. <laughs> There's a massive part of their dad that's there with them, and it's a, it's a huge tribute to him. I mean, I don't, this this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for him. They've done an enormous work in, in raising money for the esophageal charity, fundraising nonstop, and the awareness that they've brought for the disease too has been huge. So we're taking the same route that he took, which is so we'll be spending six nights on the mountain um, and around seven days. Climbing. Um, climbing. Mm -hmm. I know and I'm aware that it's going to be very challenging and there will be times where it'll be really tough but knowing that he was able to get through that while also realistically in pain mm. um, I think that will push us through. Yeah.